just waiting for a reconnect notice. Yes. Like every week. <laughs> so, hey, thanks Hi. for tuning in. We are here at Nova Speed Shop. Yep. With Aria. What's going on? And we're going to talk a little bit about um, his place of business and what they do here so we can get the word out. Very cool. So, yeah, tell, tell us about your shop, how long it's been open, and that sort of thing. So we established in 2015, went brick and mortar. Uh, we're essentially a full service, uh, modern day hot rod shop. Um, and we look at are, our chairs. Yeah, right? I, know, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we do uh, everything from custom fabrication, muscle cars, all the way to motorcycles. Um, and you know we're able to do general maintenance service to fill out the gaps in the slow season. So you know there's definitely nothing we can't handle, nothing too big or too small. Now, you said, when did you go brick and mortar? In 2015? Yeah, in 2015. Oh, okay, yep, okay we so were... you guys were around before then, though. For a yeah, we were. Um, Hi, Robert. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, <laughs> this has been a brainchild of me and my partner, Phil, since we were in high school. We've been friends, and um, we decided, you know, after a really long time working together, different jobs, um, we decided we were going to go for it, and... That's what you have to do as a business owner. I quit my job. Yeah, exactly. It was tough. I quit my job. He kept working, and I moved in with him, and we basically covered the overhead between the two of us for a few years, and and then, you know, we got established, and, you know, we've been pretty blessed up until now, you know, doing good work, keeping a good reputation, um, really just trying to maintain our foothold in the community and take care of people. That's really what it's been all about. That's awesome. Customer service is everything. Yeah, in absolutely. Business, it kind of sure. it, it's it's hard because this industry, you you tend to see more people get taken advantage of than taken care of, um, and so we kind of you know we opt for the latter of the two. So yeah, you know, well, isn't that always kind of like an old myth of like mechanics and people that work? Yeah, on you cars know what? Unfortunately, <laughs> it's true. Though. Yeah, and, and, it, and it's real. I think maybe that was a different generation oh, of. of um, mechanics and, and people that take care of cars. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of us that are out here doing right by yeah. the consumer, yep. but there's definitely an equal share of people that are just in it right. for like the one hit so, wonder, you know. Well, I would also say too, it's one of those industries because so many people don't, they don't know what, it's like going to the doctor. You don't know right. what they're doing. Yeah. So it's hard to know. Yeah, you've okay, got to put your trust completely yeah, in the, right. you know, who you're dealing with. I so. Can. <laughs> it's, it's definitely, you know, it, it's a big undertaking, but, you know, if you find the right people like us, yes. <laughs> then, you know, we're able to take care of you and, and keep a good relationship going. What would you say is your favorite thing to work on? Like, we talked um, a little bit about build-outs and things yeah, like that. Yeah, so, so. Um, I grew up racing motorcycles, so I'm, I'm a bike guy through and through. Um, I love building custom bikes, and, and that's my my niche end of the market, you gotcha. know, at the shop. Um you guys should do but, it like a YouTube channel. Have you yeah, ever yeah, we, anything yeah, like we've that, been, like time lapse we, right, or something? Yeah, we've or? been kicking it around for a while. Um, it, to be honest, it's tough to run a business and manage, you know, the Instagram what? and Facebook and all that. So, so, you know, we're getting there in time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's definitely it, it's a journey for sure. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Highs and lows and all over the place. Absolutely. For sure. <laughs> so, anything else that you want to get out about your? Yeah, this? bring your stuff to us. Give us, <laughs> give it's us so a simple. Chance. It's Absolutely. so simple. Yeah, it's as easy as that. Yeah. Do you Any, have a website or anything? We do, yeah. Novaspeedshop.com. You can check us out online. We're on Instagram, Facebook. Um, just feel free to stop by. Anytime, anything. Yeah, you know, it's a really cool. Yeah, shoot them a really message cool on too. Facebook. Yeah, absolutely. So. And it's a really good location, too. It's like... Wellington and, and oh, yeah, we're to talk right. about yeah, we're, uh, we're right down the street from Maryfield Garden <laughs> Center, Jiffy Lube Live. I mean, those are the big staples on right. Wellington. Um, we're very easy to find and get to. And if for some reason you can't, I'm willing to walk out front and flag you down. <laughs> <laughs> like Leslie did for me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I saw, she wasn't sure which door. Yes. It's just, she it's found the door. it. it was the door. <laughs> um, oh, Full sir. Oh, Roger's asking. It. It's full service shop. Yeah, we are a full service shop, Roger. Anything you need, um, we you know we don't stop at you know hot rods and high speed, high performance. You know we're able to manage and maintain your daily driver as well. So a lot of people that have the fast cars um, also have a car that they drive to get to work. So we can cover that as well. Excellent. Yeah. I might bring my new beater to you and see if you can figure out all the problems. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We can definitely get that taken care of. Oh, awesome. hi, Mom. Hi. <laughs> it's Becky's mom. Oh, okay. Hey, Becky's mom. Yeah. <laughs> all right, cool. Well, 
um, yeah, if you, are you, so are you staying and hanging out with us? Um, I can come in and out, yeah. Okay. Um, I've got some stuff do. i got to okay. wrap up. All right, um, cool. If y'all need me, just you give me a show. You can come in and tell us, because uh, we usually cover events and things, but okay, uh, sure. we also cover, like, you know, party stuff and yeah. where to go out, so you can kind of chime in and tell us what your favorite places Absolutely. are. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, and if you guys ever have events here, like if you ever do any, like an open house or whatever. Yeah, so, like that. yeah, we're going to get our, we we have really? actually been slacking a little on the open house. We need to have our first official one. It's just, you know, we've been kind of trying to get organized, cleaned up, and, you know, the customers are our first priority, so, yeah. you know, Aww, trying to. Mom thinks he's cute. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we're definitely, we're going to have one soon, so, uh, you know, stay stay updated on Facebook and, and on the website, and we'll post updates and, and get all that information out to everybody. Cool. Excellent. And Jeremy's asking if you do imports and Volkswagen. Absolutely, yeah. I was all. a Volkswagen guy to start, so that's uh, that's something we're definitely comfortable with. Cool. We, we cover everything from imports to domestics, uh, Europeans, exotics, motorcycles. There's nothing we don't do. We've got a really killer team in-house. Um, you know, full metal fabrication, um, you know, anything from oil change to tire mount and balance all the way to motor re engine rebuild. So, sweet. Here yeah, we go. do it all. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. And sure. yeah, if you get a chance to jump back. Yeah, absolutely. Free. We'll all catch right. back up. Thank right. you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> all right, guys. So, you ready to hear what's going down this yeah, weekend? Yeah, I feel like we should turn it a tiny bit. Yes. Again. It's Halloween. Sorry. Although I hear it's going to rain tomorrow for the trick-or-treating, but that's okay. Leslie, I love being so tall right now. I know. I'm like, now I... <laughs> I know. Down. No, I'm kidding. I know. Here, great. <laughs> yeah, perfect. I'll chill. I'll chill down here with yeah, you. Yeah, I love it. There we go. All it's right. so chill. comfortable. These chairs are really comfortable. I know. Comfortable. I'm like, I, we need, like, gaming chairs it's from so here on It's so fun. It's so fun. So, you guys that are on, tell us what you're doing for Halloween. Are you going out? You're just doing the trick-or-treating stuff? Um, trunk or treat any of yeah uh, tell us so. what's going on for you I know that we're just gonna stay in the neighborhood I don't know about you um, well where I live it's like rural oh, so we can't yeah. it's not a lot of good well you can come to my street yeah your son. yeah or I was well and well my son we may be going with one of my son's buddies oh okay that lives across well his his uh mom's boyfriend lives across the street Confusing, oh, okay. but yeah. his mom's boyfriend's dog so <laughs> <laughs> that's what I feel like age white <laughs> um, yeah, um, so what, are you, what area are you doing? Start, well I just started with uh, a couple uh, random ones I always like to kind of put some of them together um, our friends over at Sinistral are doing, yes. I thought this was really fun that's why I put it on the top, they're doing their uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show um, screening, viewing sort of thing, oh, that is cool. Uh, costumes are encouraged so, you know, all those fun costumes from uh, Rocky Horror, you know, you can be all the different characters. So, <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. Hi, Tom. Hi, guys. Sorry. We're, we're sharing a private joke. Yes, we are. Um, <laughs> and it is definitely a joke. Um, Rocky Horror Picture Show. I lost my train of thought. Um, so, get dressed up in your favorite characters, and obviously, Sinistral is the best. We love them over there, and I think this is such a creative idea. I only, only they would come up with this. They're, <laughs> they're always thinking about cool stuff. Stacy and Blaine are just awesome. So, that's at 7 30 tomorrow night. Um, then on Friday the 1st, they're having a totally 80s bash with the Reflex, who I love. The yes, Reflex. they're Reflex so are fun. fun. And then Saturday night, they're doing a Beatles night. So, that's Saturday at 7 p.m., and it doesn't say the name of the band. I saw their picture, but, um, but, they, um, Stacey and Lane love, hi guys, uh, they love the Beatles, so if they pick them out, I'm sure it's going to be an amazing awesome. band. Awesome. Um, yeah, so that's at Sinistral, so, and then I've got Farm Brew Live, which, one of my favorite bands is playing there this weekend. I'm so excited. Oh, which one? High Maintenance on Sunday at noon. Oh, oh, yeah, I love them. My acoustic group. Yeah. And Tommy are playing there <laughs> Sunday at 12. Um, <laughs> But uh, today we've got Bradley Rhodes at 5 p.m. We've got uh, tomorrow at 5 p.m. is Moonstone Duo. Uh, Friday, November 1st is Mike Richards at 2 p.m. Uh, also on Friday at 6.30 is Junk Food, which we is love. one of my favorites. Which I, <laughs> I may swing by there. I, I don't know what you're doing on Friday night, but it's my birthday weekend. Oh, yeah. So I'm trying to kind of plan some birthday yeah, adventures. So fun. Yeah, which I'll get to a little bit later when we go over Haymarket. But oh. um, I'm throwing myself a party, and you're all invited. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so Junk Food is Friday at 6.30. Um, Saturday at 11 is Shane Gamble. He's awesome. Really, really talented dude. Um, Saturday at 3 is Will Gravit Band. Saturday at 7 is the Jarrell Williams Experience. 
and of course high maintenance uh sunday at 12 and if you haven't seen high maintenance we pretty much do everything we do a little bit of um all kinds of fun stuff and we even do requests when asked and then we just have fun with them and and try and play as much as we can right if that's we know awesome. it that's yeah so, fun. so it's fun and then right after us is mark glass at 4 30. so that's uh all at farm brew live cool um, well, I've got, I'll, I'll stay in Manassas, okay. and um, there's a Jameson <laughs> Whiskey Dinner at Public House. Oh, that's today at 6.30, so hurry up. <laughs> um, <laughs> Don't work early. <laughs> yes. Uh, we did that one. Let's see here. Sorry. Um, Manassas, oh, on Saturday at 8 a.m., they have their um, farmer's market, so that's always fun to, to go to, a little something different. Um, hey Tommy, thanks for tuning in. And then also tomorrow at 8 a.m. they have a farmer's market as well. Let's see, November 2nd, Saturday at 11 a.m. there's the 11th annual Northern Virginia Veterans Parade. So that's a good thing to go to with the family, some family events we got here. Um, that was it for me for Manassas, I guess. Well, wow, that was okay. quick. I, I have a couple. Well, maybe I, let me and just I see if know. anything else got mixed up. How did this get? I know, I'm like, things are going oh, great, great. Yeah, this is wrong. Okay, so there is one more act at Farm Brew. Uh, today is Carter Pennell. And that's uh, today at 5. So I think they had the dates wrong on here. Or oh, okay. I just didn't get the right one. So to, um, it says today at 5 p.m. But tomorrow... Wait, today's the 30th. So. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I printed this out yesterday. Carter, like yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Don't Look, I was so prepared. I was so overprepared that no, no, I don't know I what to do. <laughs> I shouldn't be prepared. This is terrible. Uh, you're still in Manassas, right? Uh, oh, actually, right. mine just ended for Manassas. That's oh, okay. all they can't. That's all the print. Oh, okay. I've got uh, November 7th is All Jammed Up. Debuts at Uptown Alley, Saturday at 8.30. And um, that's all I have for Manassas. Okay. I've got, um, let's see here, let's go back to, to Gainesville, we'll go okay. to Gainesville. Okay, all right, I'm on it. Um, we've got, at Rockwood, they are having a Halloween bash uh, tomorrow at 9, so it's vamps and vampettes, bust out your costumes and get ready for this best Halloween party in Northern Virginia, there's a DJ, so that'll be fun, drink specials, hi Katie! Elite Shooting Sports Customer Appreciation Day. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's, I've been to that's right around here, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's very cool. Yeah. I love oh, we should Elite. go live there one day. Yeah. That place is really cool. Yeah. Have you ever... I haven't, shot? but I got my dad a gift card for there, so maybe I can have skip his gift card. Shooting? I got my, I actually, actually, I got I my concealed to. carry permit. Did you really? Oh, yeah. that's so cool. The certification. No, I want to go. Maybe we can go live there, and then I can sign up. Well, yeah, we'll like sh be shooting. Yes. yes. <laughs> that would be so awesome. We'll, like, well they do angels. a lot of events for women. Like, they oh. do a lot to, like, you know, because obviously, like, sh shooting is always more geared towards right. men, but they do a lot of, like, women's events and helping women feel comfortable. Yeah. With no, I want to go. That sounds shooting. awesome. All so, right. Yeah. Let's set that up. Yeah, we got to get that going. Um, football <laughs> season, all throughout football season, um, it's buy one, get one at. Um, out of the blue crabs and seafood so go on in there that's um sunday so sunday at 11 a.m join us at out of the blue on nfl game days all season long it's um buy one get one for wings i think and and crabs yeah um, <laughs> we love we love yes to eat. yes um november the second which is saturday at 8 a.m at rockwood there's a love what is it love leo will host a poker cruise Hmm. Oh, it's a poker. Oh, it's a poker cruise for cars. First annual celebration of Leo. Leo? I don't know. Check that out. Oh, yeah. Participants ride along a predetermined route. So I don't That's know fun. that it's a. Uh, I don't know that it's motorcycles and cars. We will have to check that out and see. But it seems cool. I never yeah. saw them do anything like that before. Um, there's free group training classes. Oh, that we're going to miss that. Sorry, that's a different day. And then DJ Mac every Friday at Eclipse. So Friday at nine. And then at Tim Cannon. Oh, that's today, but that's still enough time to get there if you wanted to go grab something after work. Um, it's WTF Wednesdays. So there are uh, yeah, that's right. Five dollar pints all evening. Nice. So go on in there and see Ben. And that's all I have for games. Oh, right. I feel like something got checked on my thing. Yeah, I, I feel like I don't have out, as much as I, I usually do. I checked every dang box. I know. 
Uh, tonight is Wednesday night line dancing at Eclipse in Gainesville. Um, tomorrow is a Halloween celebration at the Marketplace at Madison Crescent. Rain or shine will be set up to trick or treat. So I guess that's like a trick or treat thing. Um, Soho Down is at Eclipse in Gainesville Saturday at 9. Uh, they've been around for a long time. I haven't seen them. I feel like they might be country. Um, okay. Uh, beer band the star I think is postponed this week I think I saw a note but um, okay. if, if you're into that definitely call Eclipse and find out if they're gonna be there um, Scott Kurt and Memphis 59 is gonna be playing at Eclipse Friday at 9 p.m. Um, uh, that was yesterday gosh I can't do this a day in a, a I day know. in advance I don't know what's going on <laughs> um, live music with Adwella and the uprising at Mazda 29 kitchen and bar is Friday at 8 p.m. And then live music by Buddy Cosmo at Tin Can, Hi, Tin Can and Brewing Company Friday at 6.30. And that's all I have for Minas. Oh, Gainesville. And then I have some Warrington. Okay. Do you want to um, do those yeah. or do you want me to do uh, The band Changed Live at Glory of Faith Dingus Center for the Arts, which we always talk about that place. So I decided <coughs> to go on and do, see, I'm super prepared this week. Yeah. To ch check it out and see what it was all about. It's right in Old Town, like on the main, like off the main street. So is it like a um, concert hall? Like it a kind of is. It's toast. like a big open space and it looks like maybe they have, you know, um, they have a stage and everything. So it looks like they have bands, maybe plays, you know, it's like an arts center, but it's not like a restaurant or anything. It's just specifically for these for entertaining things. things. Yeah, entertaining. but it looks really cool. It's very pretty inside. It looks, you know, it looks nice and fancy. So um, definitely if you guys go there and check it out, let us know what it's all about because it looks very cool and maybe we'll make it out there one day. Yeah, and for anybody <coughs> watching too, if you have any events that you want to like throw in the comments or if you want to even give yourself a shout out, you have your own business, put it in there. Yeah, hey. definitely, definitely. Um, so that's Sunday at 7 p.m. Um, also over there is Furnace Mountain Band live. Um, sorry, I'm losing my voice. Uh, Saturday at 8 p.m. Uh, that's November 2nd. Um, Joe Downer is Saturday at 5 p.m. at Old Busthead Brewing, which is also one of our favorites. Yes. Um, Tom Robbins Band is He's playing at Molly's, Molly's Irish Pub Saturday at 9. Um, and Children's Music Time is uh, tomorrow at 11 a.m. at Deja Brew Cafe. And then on to Haymarket, <laughs> all right. which I'm very excited about this one. All right, I'm going to skip the, well, I don't, of course, I don't have all that much anyway, so I'll just do the, like, more family stuff. Um, I have on November 1st, Friday at 1230, there's, there's always a, well, I think there's always a preschool story time at Cookies and Cream. So bring your kids to that if you're, you know, they're home during the day and driving you. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ghost of Broad Run Imperial Stout tomorrow at three. The Ghost of Broad Run showed up in the brewing of their Imperial Stout. It arrives on the thirty first. Come get yours before it vanishes completely. So it must be really good. Yeah, and that sounds good. Stout's always good. <coughs> um, let's see here. This popped up too. I um, we don't. I don't. We don't talk a lot about like you know, religious affiliated things, but I think, I do think it's great for like kids they have at, um, Park Valley Church on, um, November 1st at 7 p.m., the middle school underground rec night, so it's just a fun, good, wholesome oh, nice. thing for your yeah. middle schoolers to get involved in, so Friday night, it's games, grab a friend and join us at Reagan Middle School for a fun night of games. That sounds awesome. Yeah, and then they're also, um, let's see where that is, oh, what, oh, this is for Dominion Valley. So, sorry, they're having a <laughs> coat drive. So if you, <laughs> I don't well, actually, if you have coats and you want to donate, you could get them to me, and yeah. I'll get them to the Dominion Valley Coat Drive. So yes, I'd by be tomorrow happy... at nine. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. We might be out of time. <laughs> um, I have um, Mercury Avenue Acoustic at Giuseppe's Friday at six thirty. Um, this is kind of cool. It's sold out, but I think it's very cool that they're doing. Um, a beer and comedy show at the farm at Broad Run. So if it's sold out for this one, everybody be on the lookout because obviously it's like a really fun event. So right. um, drafts and laughs is what it's called. So be on the lookout for them to do another one. Obviously, if, it, if it's already sold out, they'll do it again. Um, but this is my favorite one. I Like I said, I, I saw you say that you were going to that. Yeah. So <laughs> I decided this year I was not going to celebrate my birthday. And then a couple days ago, I changed my mind. Oh, because that's, that's every year. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. and so when I realized that my one of my favorite bands, the Harry Karaoke Band, is playing 
like down the street from my house. I'm like, okay, this is a no brainer. Yeah, yeah. So if you haven't seen Harry Karaoke Band, they're sort of like the Be Your Own Band at Eclipse. Um, they have a huge songbook of songs that they can play, and you can get up and sing with them. So it's really fun. It's like a live version karaoke. Um, people come with their own props and their own arrangements of stuff. It's it's they take it very seriously, and sometimes you'll see like some really amazing singers. Some are really funny. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sure. Some always. are really amazing. If I went up there, it would be yeah. funny, or you'd put well. Your hopefully, you're coming in. to my birthday party, yeah. <laughs> and I'll make you get up and sing with me. <laughs> well, okay. So uh, hi, hi, hi Tosh. So I so my do you, you want to know my go to? Yes, your karaoke song. song. So I so that there's two. One would be "Let's Get Physical" by. Oh, no, I love no. it. So I can start doing jumping jacks and stuff while I'm up there and like oh tug Please, touches. Leslie, please yeah, do it's this. really great. And then um, <laughs> "Hot Blooded" by Foreigner. Oh, <laughs> those songs are so you. Yeah. So perfect. Don't forget. Oh yeah. Robert's grand opening um, at Experimax is oh, this yes. Friday, 12 to 2. Yes, so. I'm actually coming to see you, Robert. My daughter dropped my iPad yesterday, oh, and it shattered. How yeah. how convenient. I know, I'm like, Rob, I know a guy. Robert. I know a guy. <laughs> so now I need my phone fixed, my iPad fixed. Everything. <laughs> it's going to come and drop off all my electronics, Robert. Right. <laughs> um, so anyway, if you're free this weekend, come out and help me celebrate my birthday Saturday night at Lion and Bull. I think I forgot to say it's at Lion and Bull. L&B. Um, L&B, tap room. And um, also then the next morning, I uh, will be playing at uh, at Two Silos. Yeah. So it's going to be a fun-filled, adventurous weekend. And I don't oh, think Robert's song is Brick House. Well, Robert, hmm, it's gonna oh, be, good Robert's one. Robert's got to go up there, too. Ah, nice. He's going to come for your birthday. My go-to, I always try and do something that <laughs> I don't do in the bands. Because right. Because I feel like that's more fun. I feel like it's going to yeah. be the thong song. Yes. No, I'm getting no. <laughs> no, I usually do Total Eclipse of the Heart. Just oh, because yeah, that's a good it's one. It's epic, and I love it. But I, I have a new one that I want to try on Saturday. I want to try November Rain by Guns N' Roses. Oh, that would be good. It's another one of those epic, like, yeah. cheesy looking, yeah. but it's awesome. Or what about Every Rose Has Its Thorn? Wait, or Girl Don't Go Away Mad. Oh my god, just go yes! Away. Just go away. That's Oh my god. <laughs> we used, my band used to do that song, um, um, I Hate Everything About You. Oh, that was a great song. That was what, a great was song. something Joe. Um, something. Yeah, something. Ugly Kid Joe. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. I love that Dating song. myself, but that was back right. in my high school That's days. That's all right. Yeah, that was, yeah, back in my high school days, too. In my elementary school days. <laughs> Hi, Christy. Black Velvet. Yeah, everybody tell Hi, us Christy. what your go-to karaoke Christy, songs are. Christy, better come to my birthday party on Saturday. We want to hear your go-to karaoke song. Yes, tell us your that go-to. That is fun. That I is know. some fun stuff Actually, right there. Actually, you know what? Another one I used to be my go-to song. I feel like before I had a kid. Oh, <laughs> Stacy's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Gracie's mom. Oh my god, I would have to change that. No, I used to do I Touch Myself by the Divinals. And that one was always like so stupid and fun to do live, but we'll have to see what I'm in the mood for. Alright, so that song, I probably shouldn't say this, but oh my there's god. this I, I changed the words to one line in it. Oh, okay. When I think about you, I change my mind. Um, <laughs> no, that's when you're dedicating it to someone you don't like. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. Oh my god! <laughs> I forgot to say one thing. Um, <coughs> it, at Cabela's, they're having like a it's a, a, tr- a trick or treating thing there with a costume parade tomorrow at four. So that's fun um, for the kids and for the dads. They can yes. shop while yeah. they're there. So exactly. All right, there we are with that. All right. Well, Do, I are think you that's yeah. I'm done. done. Uh, okay, I'm... I have more. Oh, okay. Um, so I've got. Um, I did Marshall because I. I went out to Marshall this week and visited Gentle Harvest. And so they are having on the 2nd um, at 3 p.m. And if anybody has not gone to Gentle Harvest, well, just, just, I can't really say much, but you might want to watch my videos in the next couple of weeks. Oh. But it's really cool. It's almost like a, uh, almost, I hate to compare places to other places, but it's like a, almost like a Trader Joe's. Oh. They have their own, um, like, butcher. Like butcher, hi Courtney, butcher meat section, um, uh, all like all of their stuffs like green certified, organic. It's just an awesome place right in downtown Marshall. You can eat there. So they're having this thing. It's called Sips and Sides Tasting Event. Um, it says we all know that good food, good wine, and craft beer with <laughs> discounts go hand in hand. Um, so you can sample their organic certified, non-GMO verified turkey. 
that they're having and they're going to be a serving like if you didn't want to cook um thanksgiving dinner you can pick everything oh my up God. from there that's awesome <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> so that's a great place to check out if you haven't you anybody here would love it all aboard this is cool this is tomorrow all aboard the haunted bus at johnny monarchs oh tomorrow yeah. at five um so you can go i guess they're gonna have their their bus all decorated and um, oh, that's cool yeah you can eat and dance and all that good stuff um november 3rd there's an open house at uh, at 12 at the marshall volunteer fire and rescue so there's children's activities moon bounce and um tamara may and friends saturday at noon at johnny monarchs they're playing original tunes i don't know anything about them but always fun to see a new uh band or group that we haven't heard of or seen before they're probably around and we just haven't <coughs> Um, um, and I think that, yeah, I think that's it for us to talk about with this. And then I just wanted to give some special thing, shout outs for people that sent me their events specifically. But I saw this. This looks so cool. I love her. Yes. Um, she was on, she, that was a week that you weren't here. She yeah. was on and she helped me, um, do the events. It's, um, Kira Lee is having... Her, um, it's the Read with Kara Lee show. It's a YouTube channel that she has. It's premiering um, Saturday, November 9th. And it's Read with Kara Lee show. It's a community-inspired literary show that will introduce kids ages 3 to 9 to children's authors from Virginia, Washington, D.C., Maryland, and West Virginia area, much like Reading Rainbow of years past. Oh, I love I, it. I do. I think it's so awesome. And Read with, um, you can go to with. Kira, I think her name, I pronounce her name Kira Lee. C A R Y L E E. So read with C A R Y L E E dot com. And um, she'll bring you love of literature to children and give a peek behind the scenes, allowing them to meet with authors. The show will evoke a joy of reading, helping children to interact with authors and display the hidden talent of these authors who are all around our community. And she's That's written two children's books That's recently. Awesome. I love that. Um, and it's just, and it, I guess, well, this is, it's premiering on YouTube then. That's so awesome. I think she's doing it at that, what is that coffee house, Germani? Germani. Germani. Germani in Old Town. Yeah, that's where she's, oh, I think that's she's fun. doing it from. So if you want more information on that. And then we still have the, um, <coughs> it is, shoot, what's the date for this? November 10th, the Paws and Pals 5K and One Mile Mutt Strut that um, is being put on through it's it's helping the sweet julia grace foundation canine caring angels they're looking for different supplies um jill blocker is putting this on um and it's just a great event check it out they were looking for vendors and people to sign up to do the race and the walk so that is good um and then from meg meg still had the project fact the third annual fundraiser supporting victims of sexual and physical assaults Bring your donation and show your support Saturday, November 9th, 11 to 2.30 p.m. at that Ono or Ono Brewing Company in Chantilly. It's at 4520 Daily Drive. And, um, I mean, that's just an amazing cause. Leadercast Women, November 8th still, is at Falk Your Health. And that's Friday, November 8th, 8.30 to 4.30. Learn how to become um, a leader in your community. It's Leadercast Women, so specifically geared towards women. It's a great event. I've been to it in the past. And then last but not least, I am looking for people to join me Youth Life. I'm, um, I've been asked to be a team captain. We're going to do a trivia night at Battlefield Fun. High School. So I'll be conning, maybe I'll conning Becky and being on my team. November, Sunday, November 17th. If it's music trivia, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else, no. Um, it's Sunday, November 17th, 4 to 6 at Battlefield High School. And really what this group is trying to do is get adults connected with kids oh, and like mentor, awesome. almost like mentorship roles so that they can talk about like hard topics and things like that. So it's... Just a super good cause, and I'll be putting up information about that. That's awesome, Leslie. I love yeah. that you're doing that. So I'm excited. You're the best. I've got a couple people on my team already. That's very cool. Yeah, so I'm super happy. And, um, yeah, that's that's it for me. All right. Awesome. All right, and then, oh, and we're going to be giving some more details out, but um, at Eclipse Sports Bar, we're going to be having um, on December the 5th from 5 to 7, I think it is, but I'll get more details the Going Gainesville Holiday Party. Oh, yes. 
That's going to be so fun. Yes. So I we'll stay tuned for more details on that. Yes. And um, I guess we're out of here. All right. Bye, guys. Have All a right, good bye. week. Everybody right, have home. a safe and happy uh, Halloween. And uh, definitely let us know what you guys did. And uh, yes. send, Oh, and send us pictures of your kids in their costumes. I would love that. Yes, That's that would so be fun. amazing. Yeah, especially, or if you want to dress your dog up in something. Yes, funny. I love that too. <laughs> like put a towel on it. Yes. <laughs> All right, we'll see All you guys, guys later. Thanks. Have a great Sorry. week. Like hitting you. <laughs>